Whenever you hear the term blockbuster film, I bet Northern Ireland's the last name that comes into your head. But in reality, the film industry here started to boom, opening up many different opportunities. To talk to me about that, today I have Thomas Smith, a local short filmmaker that has provided out props for productions across Northern Ireland. So Tom, what inspired your interest in prop making? Well, I mean, uh, when I was growing up, uh, there was lots of great uh, science fiction television series like Space 1999, of course, uh, Star Wars come along, and um, uh, as a kid, I would make the vehicles out of different materials and make the, the gadgets and, and the guns, and that's probably what sparked my interest in prop making. How many short films and stage productions have you provided props for? Uh, well, that's starting to get into double figures now because I do a lot of um, projects up in uh, in Stoke City, and that could range from stage productions for Panto uh, right through to helping out uh, students with uh, their productions. Can you give me some examples of your work? Um, well, more recently, uh, I was working on a, a production uh, which can be best described as Disney meets uh, Pulp Fiction which was uh, Little Red Riding Hood versus the wolf, uh, where she actually shoots the wolf with a four-barreled four steampunk design shotgun. That was actually made for another production, but it was, uh, it, was, it was used in that, and it was a lot of fun. Are there any particular individuals in the industry that have inspired you? Well, probably the, the one guy that inspired me for uh, prop making would have been Rob Bolton who uh, did all the uh, the practical effects on uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. I'm a massive fan of practical effects because CGI just doesn't, uh, it's just not realistic unless there's a lot of money being spent on it, but the practical effects, there's always something there that an actor can touch um, and therefore it, it seems more real. For anyone wanting to start out in prop making, do you have any tips that might help them? Just a lot of hard work. Uh, I mean, I, I sort of come into the props, if you want to call it industry, uh, quite late in life. But just hard work. It takes a certain individual, though, to make props as well, because you, you have to have an artistic flair and you have to think outside the box quite a number of times. Uh, like, a, a, like a piece of material I may look at and say, oh, I can make X out of that. But somebody else might look at it and say, actually, that's just a piece of rubbish. It does take that sort of creative uh, mind to try and, and get around those sort of things. Now sadly that's all we have time for. Thank you for your time and providing a little more hope to those who want to get involved in the industry. And thanks for watching.